Today I'll be talking about OpenAI's bug bounty program because I haven't seen too many people talking about this, but that's right. OpenAI is offering up to $20,000 for exceptional bug bounties. Let's talk about what people have earned so far, what kind of bounties they're accepting and how to start testing for bugs today. So first off, this was recently announced April 11th, 2023, and the initiative is an essential to their commitment to develop safe and advanced AI as we create technology and services that are secure, reliable, and trustworthy. We need your help. What they've created is a bug bounty program, which we'll be checking out in a moment, but let's go deeper into this blog post where they introduce the program. The OpenAI bug bounty program is a way to recognize and reward the valuable insights of security researchers who contribute to keeping our technology and company secure. We invite you to report vulnerabilities of bugs or security flaws that you discover in our systems. By sharing your findings, you will play a crucial role in making our technology safer for everyone. So what they've done is partnered with Bug Crowd, a leading bug bounty platform to manage these submissions and the reward process. And it is designed to be streamlined for all participants. And we'll be checking out this actual program page in a moment, but this is quite awesome that we're actually getting some commitment from OpenAI to make sure their systems and technologies are secure. And what better way than to crowdsource and allow millions of people to test out vulnerabilities and then rewarding them with monetary value. So the incentives and rewards, we should definitely talk about that because it is quite fascinating because it ranges from $200 to $20,000 that's right, I said 20,000. So if you wanna make a cool 20 grand, you could, but again, that's gonna be pretty hard. It has to be pretty exceptional in order to get that bounty reward. But anyways, the rewards here have been being paid out, which is fantastic. And there's, like it says here, $200 for low severity findings and up to 20 grand for exceptional discoveries. So now you might be asking, how do I join the hunt? Well, I'll put a link in the description below, but we're going to their bug bounty page. Bugcrowd.com is a platform that connects businesses with global cybersecurity researchers and even offers testing options, including this bounty program. And it gives businesses the tools to use in order to crowdsource identifying and fixing the vulnerabilities that may be within their systems. Anyways, just to start out, there's already been 32 rewards and validation happens in about 11 hours. So what it says here is 75% of people get an answer back within an 11 hour period on whether or not their submission was accepted. And the average payout right now is $654 over the last three month period, which it's only been going on for a few days. So I'm not sure how that average payout's gonna go down over time, because I assume it's gonna get closer to the 200 amount that they've suggested at the beginning. At the moment, it is currently paying out well over the 200 and it can go up to 6,500 per vulnerability and it says up to a $20,000 maximum reward. Now, I'm not sure if this means $20,000 altogether or like they mentioned in the last blog post, $20,000 for a very exceptional find. Now they get to define what is exceptional. So we'll go through and read through some of the expectations here and then talk about how to actually join the bug crowd but we already kind of read their mission statement, so let's talk about the expectations of the program. They're committed to providing safe harbor protection, cooperating with you and understanding and validating your report, remediate validated vulnerabilities in a timely manner, and acknowledge and credit your contribution to improving our security. There's also some Hall of Famers already, and if you wanna become a Hall of Famer, make sure to smash that like button for me and take some time to subscribe below because only about 5% of the 250,000 active viewers a month are actually subscribed. So that'd be great if you did too. Rules of engagement. This is very important. If you do wanna contribute, make sure to read that section, but I'm gonna skim over that and actually read the ones that says do not skim over. Basically, this is made in a sections about various different systems that they have where you can test for vulnerabilities in. First off, they have model issues. And before you get your hopes up, read this line, issues related to the content of model prompts and responses are strictly out of scope and will not be rewarded unless they have an additional directly verifiable security impact on the in-scope service. So don't go out there trying to make the model do stupid things or say bad things. You're not gonna get rewarded for that. I give some examples here. And like I said, getting the model to say bad things, telling you how to do bad things, writing malicious code, and what they call model hallucinations are also out of the scope. Anyways, things that are in scope are finding vulnerabilities in the API, 
the actual ChatGPT model, third party corporate targets, OpenAI API keys, OpenAI Research Org, other OpenAI targets. So what does that mean? Basically, if you can find a security vulnerability in the infrastructure on how OpenAI serves its model to the internet, you can get up to the 20 grand award. And notice they have labels. A P4, or what I believe is a priority four, is somewhere between 200 and 500. Three is 500 to 1,000. Two is 1,000 to 2,000. One is 200 to 6,500. And finally, exceptional is 20 grand. Now, since we're all using ChatGPT, what are they interested in as far as giving rewards out here are the following. They're looking for anything with stored and reflected XSS, which just refers to cross-site scripting, where an attacker can inject malicious code into a website. CSRF, this is where an attacker can execute code on the behalf of a user that they're exploiting. SQLI, this is SQL injection. Authentication issues, authorization issues, data exposure, payment issues, methods to bypass Cloudflare protection, ability to run queries and pre-release or private models, anything to do with the plugins, which right now is only available to very specific developers or people on the wait list who have been accepted. So a lot of us aren't going to have any access to testing those. Security issues with plugin creation system. So again, very similar stuff to above but credential security, authorization, SSRF, so server-side, request forgery, which is a vulnerability that allows unauthorized requests from my applications, methods to cause the plugin service to make calls to unrelated domains, to like malicious servers. And here, like I mentioned, you have to sign up for the waitlist in order to get access to those plugins that they mentioned above. Again, very similar structure to how much you can get paid out of porting bugs and vulnerabilities but again, model issues are strictly out of scope and will not be rewarded. Keep that in mind if you plan on trying to actually join in on the bounty. So the next one is the third party corporate target. So basically anyone else who works with OpenAI and could potentially expose information that pertains to OpenAI. If you can prove that there's exploits here in other party systems, you can also get a bounty. Next one that could be fairly easy to find is if you find API keys being listed, it looks like, you can submit where they're being listed with some guidelines. And they do warn that you should be playing fair and remember that they can see what you're doing. So basically don't go making your own API keys and then submitting them as a form of bug bounty. You'll have to go through this form in order to actually submit these. And they ask questions like, okay, what are the API keys? Where'd you find them? And anything else that they need to know. In the future, they will make an API for submitting API keys. And then finally, the last two things is the OpenAI Research Organization. So anything with website services, APIs that are operated by the research organization. So anything under the openai.com or .org subdomains could get a potential bounty of up to 20 grand. Other OpenAI targets include developer documentation, playground, and anything else that is user facing on the internet that OpenAI uses could get an award up to 2,500. So pick whatever section you want and then make sure to read the out of scope items here. And they even give a few examples here as well, if you're not sure. Now you're probably asking how in the world do I submit a report? Well, there's a button up top, log into Bug Crowd, make an account, and then actually submit for bounties. Following that, we'll look and see that there's 3,223 people who have joined the program already and are going at it as we speak. And then there are a list of Hall of Famers. So let's check them out real quick. And these are people who have earned anywhere between $200 to $6,500 per vulnerability. And you can see that there has been quite a few people here who have submitted vulnerabilities already with Nagley being the top contributor. You can also see the rewards here. And it looks like even on the first day of the program, they're rewarded $300. They got a $200 reward, 600, and even a two grand reward. And that looks like it was accepted on the first day as well. Absolutely fantastic. This also gives you some information about what others are doing. So check that out if you want as well. Let me know what you think about the bug bounty program in the comment section below. Did you know about this program? Is this new to you coming from me? Again, let me know and make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already subscribe below hit that notification bell for more linux and programming videos catch me in a great community on discord and i'll catch you in another video thanks for watching